Greetings, my scattered sisters and brothers in the Lord. Trust you know the Lord is with you wherever you find yourself scattered today, and that you know that his presence with you is more than enough for whatever you might face today. Well, I've been thinking a little bit about Isaiah 64. There we have Isaiah crying out, Oh, that thou wouldst rend the heavens and come down. And so Isaiah crying that God would tear the heavens apart and that God would come down and bring salvation. And in bringing that salvation, it's salvation from enemies, but it's also salvation from our sins. And so as I've been thinking about that, I'm rereading the passage in Mark about Jesus' baptism. At that time, Jesus came from Nazareth in Galilee and was baptized by John in the Jordan. Just as Jesus was coming up out of the water, he saw heaven being torn open and the Spirit descending on him like a dove. And a voice came from heaven, you are my son whom I love, with you I am well pleased. And so at Jesus' baptism, God is answering Isaiah's prayer. God is tearing the heavens open and coming down in the form of his spirit and resting upon his son, upon Jesus. And Jesus is going to be empowered by the spirit to be the servant king, the suffering Messiah, the sacrifice through whom we are saved from our sin, through whom we are saved from all that would come against us and that we can live in his kingdom and know peace with God, know the fullness of his salvation. And we read a little bit further, at once the Spirit sent Jesus out into the wilderness, and he was in the wilderness 40 days being tempted by Satan. He was with the wild animals, and angels attended him. And so I think about Jesus being sent by the Spirit and confronted by Satan, confronted by the enemy, tempted and tested in the wilderness. And the wild beasts are there, but the angels are also there. And so God has come down uh, in Jesus and anointed Jesus, equipped Jesus to bring about salvation, victory over Satan, victory over the wild beast, uh, whatever those beasts might be, uh, and that we might have peace with God. And there's one other place where the heavens get torn open. And it's when Jesus is breathing his last and crying out on the cross and God tears open the heavens. God tears the curtain in the temple from top to bottom. And again, that tearing, it's the same word in Mark from tearing the heavens to tearing the curtain and tearing the curtain. It's like God is tearing open the heavens and coming down and bringing salvation. The God's kingdom, God's salvation comes through Jesus and in particular through Jesus being the servant king who dies on the cross for our sins, that we could be part of his kingdom, that we can know peace with God and his victory over the evil one. So wherever you find yourself scattered today, realize that God has heard Isaiah's prayer, that God has torn the heavens open, and that God has come down in Jesus and gives us victory through Jesus. Uh, over enemies, over sin, that we might have peace with God and that we might live in his kingdom. God bless. Have a great day. And thank you, Lord, for tearing the heavens open and coming down.